he's back. Britain's hardest police psychologist returns to your screen this week in brand new episodes of the award-winning Clacker. This week, Clacker engages in a game of psychological cat and mouse with a psychopathic killer. And as usual, he's pulling no punches in the pants department. Hey, man, to you, laddie. I know what's going on and say that twisted mind of yours. I'm not saying anything. You don't have to say anything. I can see it in your face. Nice try, Clacker, but you'll get nothing out of me. I'm going to speak to my lawyer. Sorry, can't help you there, lad. But I can introduce you to a friend of mine. No, Clacker, please! Either you start talking or my partner here does. I've got nothing to say. Okay, have it your way. (laughs) (laughs) But you bastard, Clacker, you're a dead man! I'm afraid my friend here is becoming quite talkative. In fact, I have a feeling the conversation is about to become quite animated. All right, all right, put it away. I'll tell you what you want to know. When Clacker catches you with your pants around your ankles, pray his remain in the upright position. I've met dozens of creeps like you, and it's always about power, isn't it? Am I right? Drop dead, Clacker. <laughs> You'd better start talking, or things could get a little ugly. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a little thinking music. <coughs> oh, Jesus, Clacker! My friend <coughs> here takes requests. <coughs> <coughs> How about this for a golden oldie? <coughs> <coughs> you can cut the air with a knife when Clacker cuts the cheese. I'm offering you a chance, lad. If you had a brain in that head of yours, you'd see what's good for you. You'll get nothing out of me, Clacker. Do you know what this is, son? It's a finger. That's right. I was wondering if you'd mind pulling it for me. No, 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 please, Clacker, not that. Pull my finger, laddie. Anything but that. Pull it. <laughs> Oh, God! It was Tony! He arranged the whole thing! Who was driving the car? I don't know! Pull it! You're a heartless bastard, Clacker! Pull it! (laughs) Jimmy! It was Jimmy! Where's the body? I never saw... Pull! I'll take you there! I'll take you there! (laughs) When Clacker's on the case, it's not necessarily the suspect who's talking through his ass. You see these wires, son, attached to your arm? Yes. Normally at this end, they're attached to a lie detector machine. So? Well, this time they're attached to the cheeks of my ass, so choose your answers wisely. Now, where is the murder weapon? I don't know. Have you ever met the man in this photo? No. Did you know the deceased woman? Mm, no. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, all right, all right, I met her once. Oh, twice. Oh, okay, I knew her, but I never saw her on the night of the murder. <laughs> no, you're telling whoppers, lad. Clacker. Don't miss tonight's episode. Three little piggies. Come out now with your hands up. No way! Well, if you want reason with me, maybe you'll listen to the big bad wolf. <coughs> he'll huff and he'll puff and he'll blow your haste down. 